Okay. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Tay. This is STS. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. If you see the title of this video, you know what this is about. And it's just a damn shame. So I'm going to try to speed through it so I can get to the point. Um, tonight was the Elimination Chamber. WWE's, one of WWE's B, B, B pay per views. The chamber itself, it was meh. And only because three things matter tonight, and there's only one that I'm talking about. So, to be honest, I have a major pain in my heart at the moment. And it's both great, but also concerning. I stopped watching wrestling for about God, almost 10 years. I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I stopped watching wrestling for about five, six years, maybe six, six to eight, whatever. I stopped watching wrestling a long time ago. And I got back into it some years ago, three or four. Um and me, and me me watch wrestling before I stopped and after, there's a major addition, difference in how I digest the product, specifically WWE wrestling. Um, you see, prior to my before, prior to stop watching, I loved the WWE. I used to watch watch Monday Night Raw every Monday, uh, SmackDown every Tuesday or Thursday or Friday, whichever one it was on, whenever it was bouncing stations and days. I would watch. I even watched ECW from time to time back, and that was just trash. But after I stopped, and the reason why I stopped was because. It became predictable, and I just couldn't ride with it. And it wasn't bad at the time. It was still a fairly good pro. It was still a fairly good show, but something was clicking in me that didn't excite me about it anymore. So I left it alone. Got back into it, WrestleMania 32. That's when I officially got back into watching wrestling. And I haven't looked back because now I have a new way of watching and enjoying it. But it's never been on the same level. It's not an emotional investment. It's just an appreciation for what's being done. The performance that is being presented to me. So, Kofi Kingston. I knew Kofi beforehand. I loved Kofi. And in the time I was gone, Kofi had only gotten better. Right? Right. So, this week, Kofi has had two stellar matches. To, on Tuesday and tonight. And although he was not meant to be there, he managed to capture an emotional attachment. Something I haven't had since I was in middle school to professional wrestling, except in sparse moments. And it is a complete and total shame that Vince McMahon did not do what he should have done. And that's, me, that's not me saying I know better than Vince McMahon, you know, whatever. But as a person who that, who who consumes the product, to get the reaction that the whole WWE Universe has been giving out, getting behind Kofi, and for you not to have given it to us, when you have greatly underutilized your talent and presenting us with stale products that barely keep us going for half of a major show. One of the big four. Because the big four aren't always good. They don't always make the right decisions. They don't always present it to us. They don't have logic applied when it comes down to certain characters. That's why there's there's an issue with the WWE's product now where they're losing talent. Nobody wants to work for them. There is an option out there and if Vincent Man makes mistakes like this, he is going to lose everything. Kofi Kingston was probably and probably became the biggest babyface in the professional wrestling world in le in only a week's time. He had a following, a movement behind him that cannot be replicated oh so easily. This is just one of those magical moments where everything lined up. The opportunity for him to be in the Elimination Chamber. The gauntlet match Tuesday where he showed why he is a main eventer. It was all so perfect 
And it wasn't meant for him. That's the thing about it. He was not meant for this. If not for Mustafa being hurt, Kofi wouldn't be in it. And ideally, it was probably just a spur of the moment. We need somebody in. Let's go ahead and put Kofi. They might have plans for Big E, and they don't see Xavier being a man better. Kofi just has the legacy for it. And because he took Mustafa's part, he became that baby face. He became the baby face that was obviously going to get Sean to go up against Daniel Bryan on the heel. But it wasn't going to be. It was probably going to be a run-of-the-mill, bottle books type of deal. He overcomes adversity, blah, blah, blah. But with Kofi... There was something there. It was the legacy that he has. Without having been world champion, he is highly decorated. He is such a over baby face. And then add on that he is in the New Day makes him just bigger than you can imagine for somebody who's only meant to be who was only thought to be a mid carder. Nobody gave Kofi the chance to be the main eventer that he is. And Kofi is by all means a main eventer. By all accounts, Kofi could be a star anywhere else. He can perform at that level that has done so for 11 years. So when you get the entire WWE Universe invested behind one person like this, like Daniel Bryan did, you do the right thing. You give us what we want, what we deserve, and we deserve to see Kofi. Even if it's going to be this one time on a B pay-per-view, the world title, for just a month because you did it with Bray Wyatt. If it's going to be just for a month, you give it to us because that's what we deserve and that's what will make us want to come back. Because obviously you're showing that you that WWE is the land of opportunity, that even a mid-carder can go on to be a main eventer. And this is something that you haven't really seen in God knows how long. Where you see somebody who is only meant to be a B guy. Rock go beyond what he was meant to go to become a world champion. If you can give Jinder Mahal the title for damn near a year, you could have gave Kofi the title for a month. Just as once. The fact is, it's not just me. The universe is going to be in a bit of an uproar behind this. And if Vince McMahon doesn't do something about it, this will, it'll make it that much easier to cancel subscriptions and to no longer watch WWE. The fact of the matter is, if soon I will be able to access other forms of wrestling. The wrestling world is getting bigger than WWE Sports Entertainment. We don't need it. If you watch WWE, you see shirts like this. This is not WWE, and yet it took the world by storm and continues to do so. You will forever see Bullet Club in the WWE. AEW is on the horizon. There has never been another time where wrestling will be disdigestible with so much content. And honestly, I'm glad because the sooner I no longer have to deal with the WWE, it's BS booking, it's not pushing of deserving talent, it's it's small assortment of main eventers, then I will be fine. Yes, I understand. When it comes down to most pro most companies, they don't have all these all these ace talent, these primos. But there are guys who make sense to be in a main event spot. In WWE, it doesn't show you that with this talent, and that's why you get the same thing over and over and over and over again. I would rather. Watch a smaller promotion with guys coming in and out. Don't even have to be major guys. Don't even have to be the most talented guys. If I can just get a story and something different, that is fine with me. I am fine watching ROH, where the production might not be the same as WWE, but the heart that goes into it and the following is right. I would rather watch New Japan treat professional wrestling as professional wrestling and not having to change the title to make it fit the entertainment schism. I'm sorry, the entertainment media. I don't know why I said schism. I guess I'm just going to say But to fit the form of entertainment that makes you feel like it's a product that can make it because the WWE is just giant and they have so many different avenues for money. But 
what you forget is that history repeats itself. The, the wave of interest and dissatisfaction with wrestling comes and goes. Vince, there's nothing you're doing now that you haven't done before. Think of the rock and wrestling era. Think of how when the 90s came along, people were done with it. That's the PG era. Those little kids that grew up watching John Cena, that followed him after the Dr. Doug and I was on it, a gimmick was over with and we became John Cena, um, Mr. Never Give Up. They're growing. They understand more and they don't want to see it anymore. And those are who you have now. The diehards, they're going away. The kids, they'll find other forms of wrestling. And if you're going to keep doing this, even on your PG level, there's no point in sticking around. Kofi deserved that title. Even for just a month. I guess I'll have to wait and see what Vince does. What I would pray that this leads to something happening at WrestleMania where Kofi gets his opportunity and can hopefully reclaim that same magic and drawing ability that he did tonight as a babyface champion. But I don't see it. Well, that's the way to find out. Until then, I'm Damon. We are the STS Syndicate, and we're out. Peace.